And with us now, Dr. Ashraf Hidayat, uh, Professor of uh, Vascular Surgery, Cairo University. Hello, how are you, doctor? How, how are you? Thank you very much for this interview. Uh, really nice to see you uh, today in IMAC. Um, uh, what's your opinion um, uh, in IMAC conference this year? It's a very well organized uh, meeting. It's full of uh, uh, experts coming from all over the world, from Europe, from the United States, even from uh, Singapore. And uh, they are all uh, very famous uh, vascular surgeons. And they are speaking about very hot uh, topics of the moment. I think it's going to be one of the best meetings held in Egypt. Uh, doctor, um, uh, what will you present this year? This year I'm going to present uh, uh, a case uh, of thoracoabdominal aortic aneurysm uh, type 5 and it is uh, taking the celiac artery origin so we have to do a hybrid technique, we are going to use a hybrid technique in this case uh, to uh, vascularize the visceral vessels the celiac, superior mesenteric, and the renals by an operative procedure, taking the blood supply to these uh, organs from the left and right common iliacs. Uh, and then after that, the second step is that we are going to do uh, an EVAR and use an endovascular graft uh, for a length of about uh, uh, 34 centimeters to cover the uh, dilated part of the thoracoabdominal aort. Doctor, what are the complications of uh, the aortic surgery? Aortic surgery, uh, if we speak about open surgery, uh, it is a lengthy procedure. The anesthesia time is long for the patient. It takes several hours. Uh, the patient has to be a very good, has very good heart function and has very good kidney functions and uh, to withstand the long time of anesthesia and the clamping of the aorta and the burden on the heart so his heart condition should be okay. So he's liable for heart complications, kidney complications, bleeding from the uh, expo exposure and the anastomosis of the vessels and so on. So. Aortic surgery is one of the most major surgeries. It has a lot of complications, if not uh, well done. Doctor, and finally, what do you expect to see next year in uh, IMAC conference? Every year there are uh, advances in the techniques and in the industry of uh, the aortic and the peripheral vascular surgery. Maybe next year I hope to see um, easier techniques for the thoracoabdominal aorta, especially the fenestrated grafts, because they are very expensive and they are expensive for this country. So I hope to see uh, cheaper devices with the easier way of deployment to help a big number of patients. Okay, thanks a lot, doctor, and really nice to see you today in this conference. Thank you. Thank you very much.